Burn piles are a landowner's resource that they have to be able to limit the fuel on their property. So basically they're gathering up the dead and down material across their property, putting it into a pile, uh, constructing a control line around it so that it doesn't escape when they light that fire off, and then they can dispose of that vegetation uh, in a safe, efficient manner. So when somebody is conducting a pile burn, it is paramount that they observe safety precautions as they're conducting that burn because a control burn is only a control burn until it escapes and, no, and now it's no longer a control burn, it's a wildfire. So the, the general parameters of safe pile burning is a burn pile that's no larger than four feet wide by four feet tall of dry vegetative, natural vegetative material with a 10-foot line cut around the base of that pile down to bare mineral soil. We call that a hand line. So they've removed all the vegetation to prevent a fire creeping out from the burn pile while it's burning into the surrounding vegetation. An adult in attendance at all times with a water source and hand tools to be able to allow them to contain a fire if it does escape out of the burn pile until that pile is dead out. So burning safely means burning in such a way that your fires are under control and don't escape, but burning safely also means burning in cleanly in a way that doesn't negatively impact the air quality in your community. The Air Pollution Control District issues burn permits to residents and certain businesses uh, within our jurisdiction. In those permits, we regulate the use of open burning for the disposal of vegetation. In doing that, we're trying to help people you know, maintain and improve air quality in the community by, through certain practices by the use of the burning. The open burn permit programs were developed as a way to help residents and businesses burn in a responsible way. Yeah, just protect the health of the community through development of these programs. So open burning can contribute to particle pollution, but when it's done responsibly in a safe manner, a lot of the pollution impacts from open burning can be minimized. So for an individual to conduct a burn, they need to go through several steps in order to do that. First is to contact their local air quality management district and get the appropriate permit from them. They need to contact their local fire department if their local fire department requires burn permits to burn within their district. And from May 1st until the end of declared fire season, they need to contact CAL FIRE to obtain a CAL FIRE burn permit so that they can safely conduct that burn pile. If you want to have a burn pile, give, give the Air District a call. We can help you understand the regulations and issue a permit if you qualify. We'll also work to connect you with local fire resources if you will need additional oversight or permitting through your local fire agencies.